Hey, this is Donna St. Louis here, and hopefully, hopefully you can hear me. I just plugged in my headset, and it's Bluetooth, and sometimes that can just be sketchy. Anyway, um, I have been out of town. I'm in Jupiter right now, Jupiter, Florida, not the planet. So I'm in Jupiter right now, and I had a couple of questions on my last live stream that was on two days ago in regards to specifically... Um, what is the six? What are the six habits that highly successful people do every day to drive more business? So this is going to be all about business development and high productivity. So, so I mean, we're really talking about producing money here. That's, that's really what it comes down to, right? So one of the challenges, so if, first of all, if you're here, I don't want you to waste your time and I damn sure don't want to waste mine. So let's talk about what's going on. If you're here, you are saying some of the following things. You're like, you know what? Sometimes I just struggle to stay on top of whatever it is that I'm supposed to be doing. I'm struggling to um, stay ahead of my tasks every day and actually have those tasks turn into money. So if that's something that's a challenge for you, then this is the one you should be listening to because specifically we're gonna talk about what are the six things you should be doing every single solitary day in order to be way more productive. So what's up, James? How you doing from SoFla? I'm a little bit north of you right now. So let's talk about what you should be doing every day in order for you to be more productive. Um, so give you a little bit of history. This actually started up several years ago for me personally when I needed to increase the amount of money that I was making in my business, I needed to ensure that I was getting work done every day. And I didn't want to consistently waste time and create these stupid to-do lists that would start off with things like, you know, make sure I got the manicure and pedicure and call to send the dog to the veterinarian or get the dog groomed. Like, you just start, you know, in order for you to feel productive, you start putting stuff on your list that really doesn't have anything with, to do with growing your business, but you put it on your list anyway just to make sure that you can have something checked off at the end of the day. But then at the end of the day, when you really go and look at that list, you haven't done anything to really be productive. You got stuff done. You were busy, so you did busyness, but you really didn't do business. Now, I will tell you, the Daily Six works, and this is why the Daily Six works. I've had people that have hit me up and they're, they always say the same thing. They're like, you know, the daily six is so easy to follow. And once I started doing it and I kept doing it, not only was it easy to follow, it was easy to measure what worked. It was even easier to measure what didn't work so I could figure out what I needed to stop doing. It was a great way when I was ready to hire people to figure out what they needed to do instead of me doing. I knew what my strengths were. I knew what my weaknesses were. I knew where I should do a little bit more and do a little less. And at the end of the day, it always made me money. So it works. So let's talk about what this looks like. So your daily six, what you would do is at the end of every day or the beginning of the ne or the beginning of a day, however you want to do yours, you would write down the six most important things that you need to do. That's it. Just the six most important things that you need to do. So we call that level one. Don't worry, there is a level two, but we're gonna start you off at level one. So at level one, at the end of the day or at the beginning of every day, you're going to simply write down, hey Victor, happy new year. You're gonna simply write down the six most important things that you need to do every single solitary day. So that's level one. So if you haven't done anything before in your life, you've never really been good at following your to-do list or anything, I don't want you to get too complicated here. We're gonna make it super simple. Because notice I didn't say the six, six things you wanna do like manicure, pedicure, take the dog to the vet. The six most important things that you need to do. Okay, so that's the easy part. Level two, so let's say you got level one, you're like, boom, Don, I did that for five days straight, I'm the bomb, I got it, okay. So week two, this is what you do week two. Week two, I want you to write down, again, the six most important things that you need to do every day, but none of those things can take more than 45 minutes. 
Ah, yeah, because let me tell you what's going to happen that first week. That first week, you're going to write down these six things, but they're going to like blast out your day. And so you're not going to get anything else done except for those six things. Now, I want you to make sure that they take no more than 45 minutes. So let's say you said, well, Donna, one of the things I need to do this week is write an article. And usually it takes me about two hours to write an article. Then you need to break up that two hours in 45 minute increments over several days. All right. So that's going to be week two. Now, I will tell you, the struggle you're going to run into in week two is that it's going to be a little harder for you because everything that you're going to come up with or the things you're going to come up with are going to take you significantly more time than you're expecting them to. So what week two is really supposed to teach you, it's supposed to teach you how to really allocate your time properly because the reason that people have a hard time with time productivity or being productive is be that they don't know how to allocate their time. So you're going to spend the second week, level two, ensuring that you allocate your time properly. So the first week is just getting into the habit of writing a list. The second week is now understanding, damn, I suck at time allocation, so now it's to help you allocate your time properly. Okay, now we're on to week three. Now you're ready to come and stomp with the big dogs, and this is how week three works. So on week three, I want you to look at, now this is really for business development. I want you to consider what tasks that you can do, just two tasks that you can do, it'll take 45 minutes, that equal income production. So let's say for example, you have, are an entrepreneur or you're in sales and you need to move a deal forward. You need to move the needle forward on at least one deal. So you'll have two tasks, and for the first 45 minutes, you're gonna work on getting at least one deal moved forward. The second 45 minutes, you're gonna work on getting another deal moved forward. But at the end of the day, what you really wanna do is you wanna move a deal forward 45 minutes. You wanna move two deals a day forward right? You get 45 minutes to do that. So does it mean you just work on one deal for 45 minutes? No, you might need to pick up the phone and make several calls before you get to that one deal that you're going to move forward. But this is what I want you to really recognize, that at the end of the week, you will have worked on moving 10 deals forward. Most people cannot tell you that they've done that much deal movement in one week. This is going to ensure that you actually move 10 deals forward a week, minimum, minimum. Number two, now that's your first two tasks. You got a six. Here's your next two tasks. Your next two tasks, mine are easy. It's relationship building. You are going to build relationships with either someone you wanna work with, someone you have worked with, a partner, a client. You're gonna do that this week. So how do you do relationship building? Well, one of the things that I do, my relationship building, don't tell anyone, only takes like five minutes each so 10 minutes 10 minutes um, but you but remember you get a maximum of 45 minutes so for my relationship building I actually send out postcards that's it I send out postcards to clients that I've worked with clients that I like to work with people who I, I want to get on their radar maybe someone gave me a business card and I will send them a postcard now they might get three postcards a year but at the end of the year do you know that I have sent out five 120 postcards. I've made 520 contacts. Do you know that it takes about eight contacts to actually close the sale? And I do 520 contacts a year. So imagine how many sales I'm closing because I'm keeping the relationship alive. What I'm doing is I'm staying at top of mind. So that's the next two tasks you have to do, two relationship building tasks. Hey, it might just be making a connection with someone. It might be making a connection between two other people. But whatever you do, you want to connect. You want to do two relationship building tasks. And then the last two are um, professional development. Now, the way I do professional development because of my business is I learn something new and I share something new. So one of the things that I do, by the way, for my, for my professional development for sharing something new is I do live streams. So this is actually a part of me doing what my six tasks every day is to share information with others. The other thing I do is I go and learn information. By the way, some of the best ways that I learn is I'll have people who will tell me, hey, you know what, I'm doing the six and for my relationship building, one of the things that I really like to do is I don't send postcards, but I like to send, um, 
magazine articles out to people. And so they'll say, yeah, I found this great magazine article. I clipped it. I put it in an envelope and I sent, okay, well, that's great. Now they have opened a door to a conversation with a future client, right? And it's not the self-promotional stuff. They're actually sending articles that they thought the client would be interested in. So one thing that you'll notice is that for their relate, they're teaching me something. I hadn't thought about sending articles before, but that's something that I learned. So now you'll see. So for your six, if you think about it, you have 45 minutes to move a deal forward. You have another 45 minutes to move another deal forward. Hey, if you move a deal forward in the first 10 minutes, great. You can check that income production activity off your list and go on to the next one. If you move another deal forward and it takes you 50 minutes, check mark again. Now you can go on to doing your relationship building. Relationship building for me takes 10 minutes. And then the last thing I have to do, I got to do a live stream and I try to do one a day and I have to go and learn something new from other people in regards to what they learn from my stuff or just go and learn something new about what I'm talking about. So what that gives me is six things a day. So you're going, Donna, how does this equal money? let me show you well my live streams for example my last live stream it don't get me wrong it's not like my live streams are getting thousands of views my live stream got 500 views but do you know that because that live stream went out the person reached out to me and said hey I'm really interested in having you speak at our conference so now I have someone who really wants me to speak at their conference because they watched the live stream so now that person I and I have a relationship so I've been doing relationship building with them and then on top of that I'm probably gonna do some income production work with them because they're already asking me for a proposal to speak at one of their conferences so Production, de uh, professional development leads to relationship building and relationship building leads to income production. This is business development at its finest. I do it first thing every day and it probably now, mine takes up maybe two and a half hours. But that's level three. Now what can you do with all this? You're like, holy crap, mind blown. Okay, great. But what can you do with it? This is what you can do with it. At the end of 10 weeks, measure. I want you to go and look your income production how much of that work you did a hundred tasks how much of those tasks actually produced income what tasks are producing income what kind of leads are actually making you money what leads aren't making you any money at all what kind of relationships are fruitful what kind of relationships suck what type of stuff you send out and people don't even respond to because you want to go and change that what type of stuff do you put out on your live streams that people really respond to what kind of stuff do you put out in your articles that people respond to what kind of stuff do they totally ignore now you have some basis in which to consistently improve and by the way, by the end of the year, you should be four times better. So if it works, does it work? Yeah, let me tell you. I get some of the best emails and text messages and just people calling me back that say, you know what, I'm doing my six and I'm not kidding you, I closed this deal, I closed that deal, I closed the other deal. And usually these are people who are always complaining that they're not productive, that they're always leaving stuff on the wayside, that they miss out on opportunities. I have companies, people in organizations, or whole sales team follow the six. So I'm telling you, the six works, all you gotta do is start doing it at level one. Level one, six things a day. Level two, break those six things into 45 minutes. Level three, now categorize your 45 minute tasks into income production, relationship building, and professional development. Level four, at the end of 10 weeks, measure. See what you need to start doing, stop doing, and keep doing, so that way, at the end of every year, you can be four times better. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. This is Donna St. Louis from Jupiter, and um, I'm going to go give a speech in a few minutes, but I just wanted to catch up with my peeps out here. Hey, if you liked it, share it. Let other people know about it, so that way you can make, my, uh, make me look like I did all my uh, pro professional development work today, <laughs> and also you can help someone else out. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.